Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Natanis Likens and welcome to a real quick video. Uh, we're going to quickly talk about one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of Scarlet and Violet. And uh, it has to do with this feller right here, uh, uh, Coridon? Right? Coridon. Uh, so Coridon and Marodon, Maridon, however you say it, are both effectively the same Pokemon, only uh, one evolved in the past and the other one evolved in the future. Uh, so Maridon, if I'm even saying that close to the right, close to correct, is actually really good. Uh, in terms of aesthetics, it's really good. In terms of actual viability, it is actually the better Pokemon, because I'm not calling these things legendary. These things are all over the map in this game. Uh, we don't have any showing up right now, but they are all over, and I don't really remember exactly where these guys are all over. I know there's somewhere on this side of the map, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, yeah, and the fact that they simply just change into the past or present form based on if they go through the portal to the past or future and then come back through, I don't really see them as legendaries. But my main problem, you're looking at it right now and you probably don't even realize it. Um, my main problem with Coridon is the design is absolutely atrocious. Okay, so Maridon makes sense. It's a future Pokemon. It is effectively a, a techno-organic creature, so it can transform kind of like a Transformer. Uh, yes, it does that. In fact, most of the future Pokemon do. I know the future Pokemon get a bad rep for just being robots, but I think they're actually much better, especially when it comes to how they look. If we look here at Coridon, so both of these guys are supposed to be the bicycle of the game, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why they have to be bicycles or motorcycles or whatever you've got to be, or whatever you got to say there. If we were just given Pokemon to actually ride like some of the past ones, I'd be fine, but these two are just absolutely atrocious. They are terrible, and they look horrible. Uh, Maridon is actually better, in my opinion, but Coridon here is just an absolute atrocity. Okay, so first and foremost, he does have two wheels, but he doesn't use them. Like, we are running around, he's still on all fours. So, what's the point of these two wheeled-looking appendages on him? And this actually gets much worse, because if we go and uh, do the thing that I'm supposed to be doing right now, we're actually wasting uh, our ice cream. Uh, I gotta get to breeding. I've been trying to breed up some Eevees. But anyway, if we come over here and we go to Picnic... Okay, it is gonna work properly. And we look at him... Okay, so the tail is what makes the wheel for him. Now, again, for Maridon, this actually kind of makes sense because he is effectively a techno-organic thing that we can compare to, like, a Transformer and say that, yes, he could deform himself like that and reform as he wants and everything. But this thing, this is an organic creature and it rolls up its tail into a bicycle wheel that it then doesn't use like this has not made any sense to me since the first time I saw it uh, and this is absolutely the worst design I think I've ever seen in a legendary like I I don't even really want to call these legendaries because for it to really be a legendary, it has to be unique. There has to be only 
one of them in existence technically or within that particular game uh, and this thing is anything but the professor of the game as many people probably know by this point has one of these depending on which game you're playing and then after that once you've beaten that portion of the story which is actually the epilogue try and make that make sense to me it's the epilogue like the story is already complete by the time you go down to area zero that it doesn't make any sense to me uh, but there is another one of these down there waiting after you beat the professor why so that means that there's three of these things running around and as I stated this is just a Silazar if I'm saying that correctly that has either evolved in the past or evolved in the future so yet yeah, this this thing doesn't even make sense on any kind of level and it's just one of a whole bunch of reasons why I don't like uh, Scarlet and Violet however there there is only like one aspect of Scarlet and Violet that I do enjoy and that is what I'm doing right now and that is we are breeding trying to get shinies before we've even done anything yeah so th this is still a work in progress uh, it is something that I've been trying to get going for like forever <laughs> and it's just today that I realized that I made a mistake and didn't even realize it and the mistake is well uh, you can see we got two EVs here so one of them is one of my own the other one I just got from Japan I believe it was and the mistake is that the one that I was breeding with was actually a ditto and the ditto was uh, English and I didn't realize it until a few hours ago I looked it up and was looking at it because I'm like I am way over um, I'm way over the numbers I'm well overdue for at least five maybe six shinies at this point and so I was trying to figure out what in the world is going on because that doesn't make any sense I should have had at least one by now and yet come to find out I, my ditto was actually the wrong ditto <laughs> I was using the wrong Pokemon to try to breed with, and that is why this is taking uh, about two to three months to try and do. Uh, we are going to be doing a a Team Eevee playthrough of Scarlet, and uh, yeah, I, I I realized that I made like a big mistake. <laughs> like a huge one and uh it we, we got we got it solved but we're gonna we're gonna get the evs that i need eventually so we should be on the right path now so hopefully we can uh you know get this playthrough started that i should have already had going if i had realized a little bit sooner that i didn't have the correct breeding pair that i needed so yeah, that's that's really all I got for you guys, and that's all I really wanted to do. And uh, this is just gonna go up raw. I'm not gonna do any kind of special edits or anything. We're just gonna throw this out there and uh, be done with it. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the future when I do eventually get the shinies that I need to start this playthrough. And to clarify, uh, we are trying to get a shiny. Vaporeon, a shiny Umbreon, and a shiny Sylveon for this playthrough. And we are only going to be using Eevees, so that means I can use Eevee, Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Espeon, Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon, and that is it. That is all I'm going to be able to use for this playthrough once I actually start doing it. Um, depends on how long it takes us to get our shinies though which uh, again has been about two to three months because I messed up yeah we'll get there but that's all for me uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and uh, I hope you stick around and 
watch out for uh, the future Let's Play series of me playing through as Team Eevee. So, yes, we will be doing that. Uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm Tannis Likens, and subscribe.